A solar passive designed house uses efficient design to harness the sun's energy to its fullest extent. Asante in Hobart was built in 2013 and harnessed this to its fullest, achieving a 9.2 Nathers Energy Star rating. Asante utilised the latest European prefabricated materials with super insulated walls, triple glazed windows and an insulated slab. In conjunction with an airtight build, and thus maximising heat retention. An extra element that is important to consider is overheating in summer. This can be subtly negated with shading of windows by using additional awnings angled to protect from midday and afternoon sun in summer. The use of smaller windows strategically can also assist greatly as well. The house is elevated on a coastal headland and oriented to the north and east to capture maximum solar advantage. Other key factors involved with a solar passive house are air ventilation and a non-toxic interior, allowing all-round comfort and well-being at all times. Well, one of the things with solar passive houses is they have to be sealed up so they're fairly airtight, mm. very very much less air exchange with the outside compared to normal houses. Mm. And once you do that, you also need to be really careful about what you put inside the house because mm. the air doesn't get flushed mm. as often. Yeah. So you have to avoid using toxic glues and materials like most MDF, for example, outgasses formaldehyde for a, yeah. a long period. Yeah. So a whole new layer was added to our understanding. Mm. But the, the basics of the solar passive design with the uh, thermal mass, which mm. is coming from the insulated slab mm. and also from the chimney, which must weigh something like yeah. almost 10 tonnes. Yeah, right. So that's so a factor in the, the, the passive heating as well. It, mm. it is, oh, because mm. those materials, because of their mass and mm. the fact that they're not coupled to the ground, mm. uh, means that they can absorb the heat from... From the sun and from the air inside the house mm. and even out the temperature.